that, we're putting the power steering in. I've been building cars since I was 14, and you know, you order that that part that you think is gonna make this big difference, and you get it, and you're like always disappointed. This is the one thing that I've gotten that is like amazing. I'm like over impressed by it. Um, it takes this vehicle, which is kind of like arduous to steer, and makes it just like a new car. It makes all the difference, so great product. Thanks, Light Steer. Okay, we're in the home stretch. We're over the hump. We've got it basically manifested how we always imagined it. The top is up going up and down beautifully. I'm just getting it sealed perfectly all the way around with the rubber. Things are starting to feel manageable and tangible. So I've just got to finish the front, which is like my big nemesis with this project is all these intersecting curves of aluminum that are two dimensional and trying to get them to, you know, round and meet up and then I'll have to weld it all together and then put all the awning panels in as well as the top skin of the curved top skin of the the solar array so it's looking gorgeous inside I just got the power steering in a lot of little details but then it's just getting them all together and getting on the road so pretty excited here at Solarola to finish the Red Foo build This will go in the back. You'll have your clear solid vinyl that can roll up and then you will have your screen. I just finished sewing the canvas for the tent for the top of the Red Foo BW bus. Um, this was something that I was kind of putting off a little bit. It's quite a chore. There's a lot of fabric, as you can see, and it all has to be rolled in certain ways so that I can fit it into this industrial machine. So you, can, you can't see it very well, but this is going to be the outside with the window. It's all folded, so you're not going to be able to see it. Um, and then this is the inside with the screen. It has these attachment loops in seven places so that we can hook bungees on there and help pull the canvas in while the top, the actuators, are pulling the top down. It's Friday night at about 8.30 and Brett and the kids went home and I was just like on a roll so decided to stay and finish this but now I'm gonna go home and have some dinner. For this build for Red Foo and Jasmine we really wanted to take it to the next level and we wanted to get this kind of airstream somewhat mirrored look on the top um, frame for the panel array and so we took on this project of um, polishing the aluminum and ended up starting with an 80 grit sandpaper and an orbital sander and then went to 120, 220, 320, 600, 1000, 1500, and then 2500 of uh, rubbing compound and two layers of polishing compound. Um, so it's been quite a job to get this um, polished, but we are pretty happy with it. 
and really feel like it's going to look great on this bus. All of the solar panels have to be wired, the fixed panels have to be wired in solid, the uh, movable panels have to be able to plug in after the fact, so there's going to be these little ports here. Okay, you're going to pull out your panel, you're going to plug it in, and then you plug each panel into the other panel to get the series high voltage to charge the battery pack. So all that wiring has to be hidden underneath and all the fuses, and uh, then that'll come down through a relay and a breaker and down into the battery pack. So this, uh, this top is probably the most complicated part of the, of the build. I know they said that about the battery box, but that was before I started building this top. And um, we really went all out with this top to uh, make it aerodynamic, to make it look good, not just be a big raw metal chunk on top of the bus, get it done kind of thing. We really wanted to integrate beauty and, uh, into, this, into this top. So it's taken us a little longer, but this is the top that we feel like we're gonna really wanna um, reproduce uh, we feel like we really got the equation down for this vehicle and the top really, really makes it. Hi there. We are pretty much done with the top. I'm really happy after getting the, the panels bolted down that it's all sealed. There's a, a cork rubber gasket around every panel. It's bolted every five inches here on the corners, doubled up. And yeah, I'm happy and confident because of course this is now the roof of the VW. So obviously the panels themselves are waterproof, but we have to seal them to the frame in a waterproof way. Also, we'll have to be putting the doors on. They're going to go on the ends of the panels. Those are not in right now, but uh, we're just getting this wired up. So these are our plugs. So we will plug our panels in once they're pulled out so that we can avoid having wiring that would need to be really complicated and cumbersome and possibly a weak point. We just pull the panels out and we'll plug them in. So yeah, here we are with the top, one more day on it. I need to put the rubber strip around the bottom and it goes on the vehicle and we can start driving this thing. <laughs>